always wait a second because I can crop the front. Hi, Virgil Carrington again, and here we have our mycelium jars. We have to break this mycelium up so that uh, we can actually use it. And there's a couple of techniques. Some people take a car tire and whack it on it. We have boat cushions on concrete, and what you got to do, it's really easy. You just go a couple of good thumps. And if you see that, now it's broken up most of that mycelium. There's a little bit floating around on the top, but each individual grain is infected with the mushroom mycelium. And we're going to sprinkle that right on the top here in a few minutes when we get all the rest of it broken up. And each one of those little grains is going to be a point of inoculation in the oyster mushroom bags right here. <clears throat> All right, we're back here. Now I'm wearing rubber gloves. It's not because of bacteria or anything like that. It's because this is a really messy process. So we've got all of our grain broken up, all nine jars. And what we do over here is we just remove this plastic cover. And we keep a plastic cover on here just to keep contaminants and mold during the eight hours that this dries from sitting on top of our head. We just shake it off a little bit and get it out of our way. And we'll clean it up after a while. So this is 54 pounds of pasteurized hay. We always give it a little sniff. And we look underneath the cap to make sure there's no green mold growing there. Usually if there's green mold, you're going to find it right there. And we just sprinkle it down the row. And this is one cup. We've got to put nine of these on. And it takes a few minutes. And as you can see, that broken up grain, it's actually horse feed, just raw oat horse feed. Uh, it goes on real well. And so we sometimes have a little cling on. We just knock that loose. Don't be afraid to put your finger in there and to bang the cup. You can even pick that up and you can see how the mycelium has grown into that. We're just going to kind of break that up. You're not going to hurt the mycelium. Um, it's actually embedded itself into the horse oats. So, And we'll show you a little bit more here in just a minute. All right, so here we've got all nine cups, nine U.S. cups to 54 pounds of grain. Now, I want to mention that this um, oyster mushroom mycelium some people say it has a, a licorice-y smell to it. I think it has more of a, it's a descript, it's a very distinct sort of a tangy aroma. Um, it has a unique odor, and I always sniff it because if it's bad, you're going to know real quick, and you're going to get a good nose for what healthy mycelium smells like pretty quick. Um, again, it just smells tangy to me. Again, some people's the nose records it as licorice-y. Now, it's best to use it. It's got to be at least 10 days old. Um, you can use it up to 20 days old. If you put it in a refrigerator or pull its temperature down into the 50s, it'll sort of go into a high suspended animation. And you can pull it out after 30 or 40 days and use it. But at normal temperature, that's 68 to 74 Fahrenheit, you're going to want to use it um, between 10 and 20 days. We usually use ours about 14 days. And as it gets older, that mycelium will grow more dense and it will start to um, hold the um, kernels of grain together and so when you saw us banging that's 14 days old that it took you know to break that up by banging it on the boat cushion the older it gets the harder it is to break apart and the more big clumps you're going to have and you can go in and just kind of scatter them up and they'll blend right in so what we do is we just grab a little bit of, of this and we just sort of work it in and we massage it a little bit, we want to turn it over, and we don't need a lot. We just grab a little bit and sprinkle it around and turn it over a few times on itself. And the more the more we work this in, the, um, you can grab a fistful of it, and you can see there's little grains right in there, and that'll all grow out. It'll fuzz out aggressively in a few days. And so we take a fistful of it and we drop it down in there. Drop it down in there, don't be too shy about it. And then that gets our bag started. And we just take our bag and shake it a little bit. And we'll put a, another couple handfuls down there. And it's kind of important to make sure that the hay goes all the way down to the very bottom. And this is sweet. Give it a good rattle. 
get all the bags, and that gets us a, the hay seated down there in the bottom. And we'll just continue on with this process by manually working this in and blending it together until we have all of our bags filled up.